Hey everyone, welcome to Under the Covers. I'm CJ. And before I start, look at this new haircut. So nice. I like it. Anyways, I'm not reviewing a book tonight. I'm going to be giving you guys some recommendations because I've been getting a lot of recommendations from my friends and my family. So I figured I'd uh, throw some suggestions out there for potential readers. Um, I'm going to cover you know, a few different genres. So I'm just going to get right to it. Uh, I'm going to get the nerdy stuff out of the way first. Let's go to uh, science, or let's go to fantasy. Fantasy, science fiction, I don't like to put the two in the same, in the same bracket because, in the same bracket, in the same genre because, you know, there's quite a few differences. So I'm going to go with uh, science fiction first. And I'm going to go with, I'm going to recommend Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. And uh, it follows the story of Ender Wigan. He's a super a kid, super genius, and the the government or whatever the military hires him or not hires him. Well, they train him to uh, um, to be Earth's pretty much next military strategian, 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 and um, uh, I know it's required reading in some schools. So maybe some of you have read it already. If you haven't, um, I recommend it. It's really good. Next is uh, the fantasy, a fantasy novel, *Magician Apprentice* by Raymond D. Feist. It's actually the first book in his *Rift War* uh, *Rift War* saga, and um, it's like I like to compare it to *Lord of the Rings* meets *The Legend of Zelda* because there's a lot of um, like Middle Earth type elements in the novel and there's a lot of um, like uh, multi-dimensional elements in the novel like Zelda and there's you know magical swords and stuff like that and it's it's more character driven than I would say Lord of the Rings where it's you know story I think Lord of the Rings is more story driven and you know a great focus on detail and this is more character driven and it's, um, it has a really medieval feel to it where there's like, um, squires and apprentices and, and, um, you know, stuff like that. It's really good. And that's, um, Magician Apprentice by Raymond D. Feist. And he has a whole bunch of novels that revolve around this, um, this world called Minkamia. And it's, it's really good. It's really unique and it's, um, very interesting. The next books I'm getting to are a couple zombie novels. That's right. Well, the first one is well, they're both by Max Brooks, and if if you know who Max Brooks is, you know what I'm getting to here. The first is the Zombie Survival Guide, and uh, this copy isn't mine. It's actually my cousin DJ's, and um, DJ, I owe you a copy of this because you're not getting this back. I've read it like three times, and we've been through a lot together. And um, this book pretty much maps out your um, your uh, zombie apocalypse um, battle plan for you. So if you if you don't have one, you should get this. Do your research, stock up, get some guns, and uh, start your own zombie um, apocalypse backup plan. The second book by by Max Brooks is World War Z, and this is being made into a movie. Um, starring um, Brad Pitt, maybe Brad Pitt, Matt Damon, no, wait, Brad Pitt, yes. Um, so this takes place after the zombie apocalypse and it's really unique because it shows what real life countries do during the apocalypse, how they, how they survive, how they, um, how they live after. And it's about a reporter who goes and interviews all interviews all these people and um, hears all these different stories about what they did to survive the zombie apocalypse. And um, check this book out because once the movie comes out, there's no way to jump on the bandwagon. Um, there might be too much room, so you might as well get on the bandwagon before everyone else does. Uh, World War Z and the Zombie Survival Guide by, by Max Brooks. Next book is um it's a kids book I guess maybe young adults too. It's called The Phantom Tollbooth by Norton Juster 
And um, this book is, first of all, I love wordplay. I'm a big fan of wordplay and, and stuff like that and puns. And this book is very much to that demographic. Um, it follows uh, this kid Milo who has uh, who finds a uh, mysterious toll booth in his room and it takes him to this other world, and there he meets um, all kinds of different people. A dog with a clock in it um, named Tack. It's a watchdog. Get it? Watchdog. That's him on the cover. That's Milo right there. And uh, this book is really fun. It's really um, it keeps your it keeps your um, interest going the whole novel, and it's just fun and I really like it. Um, the Phantom Toll Booth by Norton Juster. All right, I'm gonna get to a bit, an, um, a book that's not for kids at all. It's um, Henry Rollins' Black Coffee Blues, and um, Henry Rollins' singer Black Flag, the Rollins Band. He's also been in some movies. He's also in Sons of Anarchy, that TV show that people um, like with the bikers and the you know bikers and stuff like that. And uh, this book is, um, it's got short short stories, and I'm talking like three, four page short stories, even like one or two page short stories. It's got poems, um, it's got stuff that happens to him on the road. And this book is, um, it's raw, it's really like, it's it's pretty graphic, and it's pretty, it's pretty vulgar. So, if you're an adult, I recommend it. If you're a kid, eh, I don't know. Anyways, who am I to judge um, that kind of stuff? But uh, um, Black Coffee Blues by Henry Rollins. I really like this book. Um, I read. I try to read it at least you know once or twice a month, or every other month. It's it's so good. The next book is a a detective novel, a mystery novel called A Rage in Harlem by Chester Himes, and. Um, it follow, it's, uh, takes place in Harlem, of course, and it follows a character named Jackson, and he's he's kind of you know he's kind of a fool. Um, his girlfriend kind of takes him for a ride, but um, he uh, he invests his money into a uh, into a con, and it kind of backfires on him. And then someone gets murdered, and then he needs the help of his brother, who's a um, a cross-dressing nun who sells tickets to heaven. And that's really interesting right there on its own, if you think about it. And um, it's a really good um, um, time piece, I guess you could say, um, where it takes place in the 50s, and, or 60s, 50s? In the 50s. And it's, it's really good, and it's really interesting. It's really surreal and fun. And it's actually the first book in a detective series that he does with um, two characters named um, Coffin Ed and Gravedigger Jones. So if you're looking for some good um, mystery that has some humorous elements in it, I, I recommend Rage in Harlem by Chester Himes. All right, let's get to some young adult, some young adult novels. First, shout out to all the nerd fighters out there. Um, Paper Towns by John Green, and um, it follows Quentin Jacobs, Jacobson, and um, his. Uh, his obsession with a girl named uh, Margot Roth Spiegelman, and um, a lot of people have read Looking for Alaska. I know that's required reading, but this one isn't. And uh, this book's really touching. It's uh, really funny, and it's uh, it's really deep and insightful. And John Green is just an amazing writer. His new book just came out, um, The Fault in Our Stars, and I have it, but I haven't read it yet. So. Um, I can't recommend that book because I haven't read it yet, but I'm sure it's phenomenal. So I'm gonna I'm gonna recommend Paper Towns by John Green. It's a nice um, young adult novel. Um, the next book, also another young adult book, um, you could call it science fiction, as well. The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins um, follows Katniss Everdeen, and she um, gets put into a game called The Hunger Games, and. Uh, I don't really want to spoil too much of this book because it's really good. And um, it's a th for, uh, this is the first book in a three-book series. The second one's Catching Fire. Third one is The Mockingjay. The second one's my favorite, but this one is also really good. And um, it's being made into a movie. And so books that are being made into a movie seem quite hip right now. So um, you still got some time to read this before the movie comes out. Uh, so don't want to miss the boat on that one. And um, the last book I'm gonna I'm gonna recommend 
is called All Quiet on the Western Front, and it's by Eric Maria Mar Remarque. I, I'm bad with pronunciation. Um, and it takes place in World War One. During World War I, um, the story is Paul Bomber. He's a German soldier, and he, um, he enlists with his classmates, and he has um, a lot of existential issues. He doesn't know why he's there, why, like, why, like, why he's killing. He doesn't even know the people he's killing. He talks about that, and it's just, it's really, it's really, um, it's really deep, and it's really, um, it's really significant um, to the time it was written. And, um, as a matter of fact, this is one of the books Hitler banned when he first took power in Germany. So that says a lot right there. And, um, I'd read it for school. I never read it until um, a couple of years ago, so um, it was new to me, and I really enjoyed it. And um, it's really sad. It's really touching, and it's uh, once again, it's "All Quiet on the Western Front" by Eric Maria Eric Maria Remarque, and it says the greatest war novel of all time across the top of this edition. And that's probably true, but probably not because uh, this is probably the only war novel I've read. Um. I could recommend a lot more books. I actually had a whole stack of books, like, that big, probably bigger, of books I could recommend, but I'm just going to stick with those for right now, and then um, recommend some more later on down the road. Um, on to other business. The next book I'm going to be reviewing, um, it's a book I'm reading for school, but I really like it, or maybe I don't. You have to wait and see for the review. Um... It's called The Curious Incident of a Dog in the Night by Mark Haddon, and I'm going to be reviewing it next. I'm almost done with it. I don't know when the review is going to be up, so stay tuned for that. Um, if you've read it, let me know what you think. If you've read any of these other books, let me know what you think. Leave some comments in the um, comment section. Um, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you don't like the video, um, hit the dislike button too, that's cool. If you want to subscribe to me, that's cool as well. Um, if you like my new haircut, which I, I'm a fan of, um, like like the video. <laughs> yeah, okay, so this video is running on pretty long, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys go. Uh, see you later.